Morning, my friends. My name is Kara Campbell, and I am a Christian counselor. I am the founder of From the Word Counseling. I target teens and young adults who struggle with suicidal thoughts and tendencies. Why? Because I know where they're coming from. I too used to be struggling with suicidal thoughts and tendencies in my teenage years, young adult um, age, and even up until adult, my, in my adult um, stage, I was tormented with um, suicidal thoughts and tendencies. I've been lonely, I've been abandoned, I've been sexually abused by family members, and these are secrets that we keep and no one knows about it. But over the years, God has kept me and I want to talk to teens and young adults because I know that there are a lot of teens and young adults out there who are struggling, who are in pain, who are sad, who are lonely, who are depressed, who are oppressed and need a word. And I know the word of God has brought me through, has delivered me and has kept me thus far. And the word of God can do the same for you. I am also the author of this book. Five reasons not to commit suicide. Five reasons not to commit suicide. And this is the um this is an ebook. And you can find this book on my website. Go to the website and you can buy the book. Send me an email and I will send it to you electronically. Okay, and this book will help you. To see that you're, you're not here by yourself. This book will help you to give, give you hope. Knowing that somebody else has been where you are. Somebody else has gone through what, you, what you're going through. And if they can come forth. If they can come out. If they can overcome. Then you can overcome also. So go to the website and um, get the book. It will help to bring you hope. I want to um, share with you this, uh, this morning from Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. Verse 11 says, this is God talking. For I know the thoughts that I have, that I think towards you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Another scripture showing that you are here for a purpose. Another scripture proving to you that you are not here by yourself. You are not on your own. Another scripture proving to you that you have a purpose. And God is the author and finisher of your life. He knows exactly where you are going. More than you know where you are going. Now he say he know the thoughts that he think towards you. Many times the thoughts that we think to ourselves is just temporal. It's just short-lived. We think the thoughts for ourselves is just the natural, natural, natural thoughts. Just shallow thoughts. But God wants to give us thoughts of peace. He has thoughts of peace. What is that? Peace and evil, the thoughts of peace and not of evil, and to an expected end, it's all wrapped up in one package right here. God wants to give us the whole package. And God is saying that he wants to give us peace in the midst of turmoil. In the, all that is happening around us, as, as, as you know, teens and young adults, you're, you're stressful, you know, you're worrisome, you know, you're, you're depressed. And God wants to take you to a place where you can have peace and rest. And that place is only in Jesus Christ. And not only to find rest here, but he wants to give you an expected end. He wants to take that peace to eternity. He wants to take that peace with you forever and ever for life. God wants to give you that peace, not only to live your life here, not only to achieve stuff. Not only to achieve education, not only to achieve a good job, not only to achieve 
money and wealth and anything that is here, even though that is included. But God wants to take you to an expected end. God wants you to have a hope to look forward to something bigger than what you are planning for for your life, for yourself. God has a bigger plan. And that hope and that peace and that joy and that fulfillment will take you right on to eternity. God is talking about eternity. God is not just focusing on where we are at right here. Because as I always say, we are just merely living here. This is not life. This world here, we are just living. Life is what Jesus Christ has to offer us. Life is what we are going to be spending with Jesus Christ forever and ever. So that's what Jesus Christ is talking about. That's what he's talking about. He wants to give us an expected end. He wants us to have something marvelous to expect, to live for. And so I want to leave these words with you this morning. Just to let you know, let you understand again. That you are here for a purpose. There are purpose in all of us. And God wants to bring out that purpose. To take you to an expected. To give you an expected end. Have a nice day my friends. Think on these things. Because God is able to see you through. He is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. Have a nice day. Bye bye.